you're going to have to excuse the wind. It is crazy today. Anyways, I'm out here trying to get the chicken coop ready for the chickens to come out here maybe this coming week or the week after. But when I built this, believe it or not, those boards that you see right there along the ground that run along the ground here, they were actually above the ground. They actually sit right on the ground. And just over the years, all the leaf matter and stuff. Well, actually, let me show you this over here. This is just what I raked out of that one area. And I know you can't tell it, but it's a couple of feet tall. It's basically just leaf matter and biomass. The same stuff you see right here. So I'm on a hillside. And over the years, all that stuff comes down the hill and gets up against this. Well, this galvanized chicken wire, not worth 10 cents. I'm just going to be honest with you. And what happens is, as that galvanized wire comes in contact with the ground over the years, it'll rot out. See a big hole right there? So... What I had done over the years was I put these rocks around it and that would keep animals from trying to dig under it. You can actually see all the rocks here I took out. That would keep animals from trying to dig under the board, but it doesn't stop the fence, galvanized fence from rotting out. And it's gonna be anywhere that it was basically in contact with the ground. Not only that, the chickens are on the inside they're scratching and stuff around on the inside they start these holes that are in the corners and then once there's a hole there the water gets down in there and we'll literally just start washing everything out so what I've got to do I started on this a couple years ago and never got it finished the fix that I come up with and the reason why I'm showing this to you now is because now this has been up here about four or five years now so that's just normal hardware cloth stainless steel hardware cloth and all the way down along the bottom it hasn't rotted out it's still intact it's still strong so what i'm going to end up doing i got to get like all the foundation part all the base all this biomass cleaned away all the way around there's another big hole right here and get all these rocks pulled back, get the biomass cleared away, and then I'm going to go with hardware cloth all the way up, all the way around. Um, it comes in three foot sections, so I think it'll take two pieces. It'll cover like the taller parts. I wanna do the door also in hardware cloth. These over here, probably three foot, I'll get it. So there's only a few places that I really need more than three foot, and that's just the sides, the sides of this run and the end of it down here. Most of it will be covered by the three foot sheet. Now this right here, when I got cancer, um, some wild dogs come down here and was jumping on the outside of this, trying to get into where those chickens were at. And they actually ripped the whole bottom out just by them jumping on it. And matter of fact, that's how the, my chickens come to end. Because they tore a hole in there, I patched it, and uh, literally something got in there and wiped out my chickens all in one night. Well, actually they'd done it two, two nights in a row, but they got a big part of the chickens the first night. They come back the second night and got the rest of them. And, uh, you know... At the time I was going through cancer treatment, or actually it was kind of like post-cancer treatment, that first year after cancer treatment, trying to keep up with all this stuff, it just, I just couldn't do it. But uh, now I've got chickens that are about a week or two ready from being put out here in the chicken coop, and uh, I'm going to get that done. Another thing that I did different is, you see that door over there? where they actually go into the coop from the run. That's basically just a door that's on a hinge. And every time something ever got my chickens 
it was always at night while they were in there sleeping and I didn't always come out and close that door so what I've done is I've gotten a uh, my neighbors have this thing where the door opens and closes automatically based on the time you enter um, I kind of got something similar to theirs but it's not exactly like theirs so when I was watching their chickens a couple times over the last year while they were out of town I I kind of realized like I always thought those were gimmicky but then once I actually mess with chickens that are on those that works pretty well and that will solve you know even if something could get in this run during the daytime which is you know they every everything that likes to eat chickens is always at nighttime but if something were to get in here in the daytime i would hear them but at nighttime you know if they get in here they're still not going to be able to get into the chicken coop because when i built this i did build this so there is no place nothing can get into the coop once the chickens are in the coop unless they were to go in through the floor or in through the side wall or something like that but like even right there there's like a gap right there it's less than two inches see if I can zoom in less than two inches right there so anyways that's kind of the plans I'll get this done I'm probably not going to update me doing it I'm basically just going to clean this up attach the hardware cloth and then I got a board that's going to go around the bottom on the outside and then I'm going to go in on the inside and kind of staple the hardware cloth along the bottom because I I'm afraid that if I, like, there's literally a board that goes along the, along the ground here, but it's underground. Even though it's pressure treated lumber, I wouldn't trust it to put a nail in. So I did get some no, more lumber to go along the ground. It is pressure treated, 12 foot long boards right there. And, uh, I'll get this done and I'll show you what it's like when I'm done. I'm probably not going to record it while I do it. Anyways, stick around. Not sure how this is going to work out. We're going to try it. I basically got my phone on a fence post. <laughs> but what I wanted to show you is you get to a corner with hardware cloth. And if you need it to bend around a sharp corner, it don't bend very well. So let me show you a trick. Take you a board. can be any size board. Go to your corner push the board up against it and then you want to wrap the board around it all the way down and you'll notice as you do that you're putting a crease in the fence and eventually you'll make it to the bottom I actually got a board down there but can you see it now it's creased now to bend over really easy and continue following everything down so now you kind of see like what I'm doing here I'll put the rocks back down this board is obviously drilled into the support frame for the run all the way down through here close to the bottom then I'll put the rocks up against it. That'll fill in any gaps. Then for like places like that, I'll go on the inside and nail the hardware cloth to this board along the bottom. I still got another row to put across the top. I took and laid this out. It's a 25 foot roll, 36 inches tall. And it's gonna go to about right there. So I'm gonna come up a little bit short but I'm going to go ahead and do the first row along the bottoms and then I'll go get what I need to finish out the top part because it's going to vary in different parts of the uh, chicken coop because I built the roof is level with the ground but the ground is actually crooked so you can see down there it's only 36 inches to that corner and then up here it's probably closer to four and a half feet that's kind of like the angle of the, the yard at just about this angle is what it really is but the chicken coop is built perpendicular like this this board here for the roof is level using a, a level 
so that means that this leg right here is taller than that leg same way all the legs down on that side is taller than this side that's also why my sister was asking me about this she's like how come you didn't put the door on this side and I was like because there's no place tall enough <laughs> like I'm taller than the chicken coop all the way down through here now on the other side it's got a normal eight foot door but on this side it's probably only like four and a half foot to that green roof right there that side over there is probably closer to nine foot anyways go ahead and get off here and get this finished up in this wind blast let me tell you these are my all-time favorite wood fastener if you're looking to get your boyfriend or husband something that they will truly enjoy for their birthday or wedding gift or something like that go get them a box of these whoever invented this technology it was literally cutting edge like every man hates when you go to like scoop your hand down into a box to get out a bunch of nails or screws or something you always grab too many or not enough of what you need whereas with these all you got to do is take one finger jam it down in the box and you automatically get exactly five every time try it try it you'll love it thought i'd show this to you so i've got to get this fence fit in around the actual egg box there and the fence is taller than the egg box and this is on a hill so technically it's really going downhill like this so the end that's farthest away on the egg box is higher up off the ground than this one which means i gotta pull this uphill and the easiest way to do that is to wrap that corner over then pull this out more than what you need and just keep pulling until the bottom tucks in up close to the side and i'd show you but i actually am holding the phone <laughs> trying to record this but you kind of get what's going on hopefully then i'll walk down there stand it up and i can kind of make the cuts where i need to tuck that in under that box and so the fence is flat against the ground and uh it'll come out perfect i'll show you when i'm done okay so i think i'm far enough done with this where you can kind of see what i'm doing now so hardware cloth held in place by one by fours and uh, I've still got some places that I need to put 1x4s. I bought new 1x4s for the longer runs. And then I got a lot of scrap pieces I'll use to fill in. Places like this right here. And um, Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I went around and kind of like pushed on the fence. Because you can tell that the fence in some places overlaps quite a bit. I mean, there's overlap there two feet um when i use a two foot fence there it actually started so up there at the corners you know where it started at and then it come down here and even when it overlaps here it probably overlaps by a good eight inches then you go around i switched over to three quarter inch or a 36 inch because this is a lot taller side than the other one and it overlaps also here about a foot or so and then as you get down to this way it overlaps less but even you know at the very end here it's still overlapped by eight inches or so so it's just now trying to get like i gotta do the door too i have a uh, plenty of the two foot fence left but i don't have any more the 36 inch and this door is 32 inches wide so Anyways, I'm getting pretty close to having it done, so I get the rest of this trimmed out and get the door done, and uh, that'll be that'll be the end of that. Hopefully, uh, get the electric fence turned on and everything. And I've also got an automatic door to put in over there on the uh, coop entrance. Then we should be good to go for another eight plus years. Um, I left the chicken wire on behind this fence. You can kind of see it there. It's on the other side of it. 
I use a lot of staples, probably every six inches or so. And uh, should be good to go. Anyways, thanks for watching. I may update this video again. We'll just have to wait and see.